Hello, cellos and basses. In this video, we are going to accomplish four goals. One, we will identify and locate the balance point for our bow. Two, we'll put a sticker on the balance point. Three, we're going to learn how to form our bow hand shape or our, or our bow hold on the balance point. And four, we will practice a bowing technique called rocket bows. Before we begin, you will need a few items for this lesson. You may want to pause the video in order to obtain these items. Number one, your bow. Number two, a pencil. Number three, a sticker. And number four, a cleaning cloth to wipe down the stick when we finish playing. Let's begin. In our previous lesson, we learned bow maintenance and the parts of the bow. So, let's review a few things. Remember, maintenance number one, we don't purposely touch the horsehair. Number two, we tighten the horsehair before we play and we loosen it when we finish playing. Make sure we're, we're going to be holding the bow in our right hand. So just review with yourself, tell yourself as we form the bow hold, we'll be using our right hand. Okay, let's begin by tightening our bow. I'm holding the bow in my left hand and I'm looking at the screw. I'm going to tighten the horse by turning the screw to the right. I'm doing about five turns. Okay, now I need to do the pencil test in order to see if my bow is tight enough. So I'm going to Hold the bow by the frog, and I'm going to put a pencil in my left hand. Again, the bow hold is always in the right hand. Pencil is in my left hand. I'm going to place the bow on top of the pencil, and I'm going to push down the stick into the pencil by just pushing down. I should be able to push it down with a moderate amount of pressure. If it's too hard to push down, your bow is too tight, and you need to loosen the horsehair. One other thing to be aware of, no matter how tight your bow is, your bow should always have a slight U-shaped curve to the stick. If your bow is too tight, notice that the stick will then be straight or bending the other way. That means your bow is too tight. One other thing to look for is we have the pencil test. See, I can push down with a moderate amount of pressure, not too hard, not too easy. But we, uh, we have spacing, maybe a little more than a pencil's width between the stick and the horsehair, just like that. That's another test to see if you have it just about right. Okay, your bow's now set. Let's begin by locating the balance point. Go ahead and set the bow uh, in your lap with the screw facing the right. So the screw is in my right hand. I'm holding the bow by the tip in the screw and it's in my lap. Okay, I'm going to pick up the bow by the tip. I'm going to use two fingers and about four inches above the grip is the point at which the bow balances. If the bow falls to the right, see, it's not going to balance here. I'm going to move my hand over my right hand towards the way it's falling. And eventually, I'll find the spot where it balances. Do this over your lap, so if it does fall, it'll fall gently into your lap. Go ahead and make adjustments with your left hand to find the point at which the bow balances with two fingers. Got it? Okay, now to be more precise, let's do it with our first finger only. I'm going to do the same exercise. It, the balance point should be about three to four inches above the grip maybe a little bit less. For example, this one looks to be about one and a half to two inches. So it's gonna be slightly above the grip. You should be doing this over your lap. I'm holding it up so you can see. See how I found my balance point? My bow is now balancing. Now, I'm gonna put a sticker at that point. See, I'm holding the bow in my left hand and I found the point at which it balances. I will be putting a sticker right at that point at which it balances. It's a few inches above the grip. 
Take time to practice this on your bow. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, we're now ready. Let's add a sticker to the balance point. I've set the bow in my lap. I know where my balance point is and I put a sticker right on top of the stick at the balance point. Let's see if I'm correct for this bow. And here we go. Great job, we've now identified the balance point. We've done number one, we found the balance point. Number two, we've added a sticker. Now we need to do the balance point hold. Go ahead and make your llama. Sometimes I call this a bunny, but we'll call it the llama. Remember from the pencil video, Mr. Holly taught us how to make um, our llama shape, our bow hold shape on our hand. Make your llama and make your llama talk. Just to make sure you have it, let's do two checks. Make sure your llama has a curved thumb and roll your llama over. Do you remember with the pencil hold? Make sure the tip of your thumb is underneath the, uh, the front knuckle lines or right near the front knuckle line so you can go like this. You have a proper llama? Great. Keep your proper llama, pick up the bow at the tip with the stick with your left hand. Now, we're gonna tilt our llama to the tip. See how I'm turning my llama towards the tip? And we're gonna make our llama chew. Let's tilt them and make your llama chew right at the sticker. Notice my uh, fingers are hanging over. I've tilted my llama and they're hanging over near the sticker. It's okay if your fingers slightly touch the horsehair. It's okay at this point. Drop your ears and for cellos and basses, that is our bow hold at the balance point. Let's go through our checks. Check number one, do you have your curved thumb? Check number two, do you have that slight spacing between the fingers? Number three, are, you, are your fingers hanging over the stick or we call those frog rubs? To make it easier for your hand, the bow can be heavy. You can gently support the bow with your left hand like I'm doing. Is your pinky hanging over? Did you tilt your llama so it's point so your hand's tilted slightly towards the tip? That is our bow hold at the balance point. Let's practice that one more time. Step one, make your llama. Check your curved thumb and your fingers over. Got it. Pick up the bow at the tip with your left hand. Remember the llama's with my right hand. Turn your llama towards the tip. Have your llama chew at the sticker, turn, chew, drop your fingers, and for cellos and basses, our pinky's just gonna sit right on top of the stick. And if you feel comfortable, you can remove your hand. That is the balance point bow hold. You'll wanna practice this many times. Okay, let's gently set our bows down. Give your arms a break, they may be tired. I'm holding my bow up higher so you can see in the camera. And let's practice rocket bows. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make our llama. We're gonna turn our arm, elbow down, so we have a little spy hole facing the ceiling. We're gonna bend our elbow and gently move our wrist just like this. It sometimes helps if you hold your elbow, like with your left hand, and we're gonna bend and move our right arm and hand. Just to practice, go like this, make your llama. Move your, move your wrist, make your llama say yes. Turn them to the side, and as you bend your elbow, you're kinda of gonna make your llama say yes. You're gonna move your hand down ever so slightly. Now let's do it with the bow at the balance point. We call these rocket bows. Pick up the bow in your left hand at the tip, make your llama, tilt to the side, have your llama chew the stick, drop your ears. You should now have your checks, thumb, curved thumb, pinky, spacing, fingers over the stick, and we're gonna do the rocket bow motion with our bows. So, we're gonna bend our elbow and go like this. I'm bending my right elbow. Notice I'm keeping the tip pointed to the ceiling. If you go like this, that's not correct. 
not correct. What you want to do is keep it, keep the stick pointed to the ceiling. The way you do that is as you bend your elbow, you want to bend your hand too. That will keep it up towards the ceiling. At this point, you'll want to practice your proper balance point bow hold and your rocket bows multiple times bef uh, before we begin further in our bowing practice. Okay, we have finished using our bows for this lesson. We need to loosen the horsehair. Hold the bow in your left hand by the frog, look at the screw, turn it to the left. Do about as many turns as you did to tighten it. I did five, so I'll do five. Bring out your pencil, do the pencil test. Okay, make sure the horsehairs are not too loose. We do not want the horsehairs coming apart. So it fails the pencil test, but it's not, the horsehairs are not coming apart. It's about that loose. Because we're done playing, we can wipe the oils from our hands off the stick. Have a great week of bow practice.